some news to share with you. According to a new article, President Trump has a habit... Yeah, Donald Trump's the president. Just... <laughs> But apparently, uh, President Trump has a habit of ripping up official documents when he's done with them. And because there's a legal requirement to preserve presidential records, White House staffers then have to piece the documents <laughs> back together with scotch tape. I mean, it's been a lot of work. They've already had to put the Constitution back together three times. <laughs> I mean, how depressing is this? You, you start out dreaming of working in the White House. You're like, I want to experience all of that excitement while getting to serve my country. <laughs> and then you end up like a kid on a rainy family vacation, like... <laughs> oh, I got a corner piece. I got a... <laughs> Guys, we, we almost have the whole border done. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Moving on, this week, SpaceX and Tesla founder Elon Musk personally handed out his latest and greatest new product to the first 1,000 customers who bought them online. And that product is a flamethrower. Take a look. <laughs> it... <laughs> is this something we were all crying out for? Were we all... I mean, this is one way to get your neighbour to stop using a leaf blower at 7 a.m. <laughs> now, to get, to get around existing laws, uh, Elon Musk is calling the product not a flamethrower. <laughs> which is a great idea. I'm excited to use one of these not a flamethrowers <laughs> to not rob a liquor store. <laughs> um, uh, this was an interesting story. I don't know if you saw this. Domino's Pizza announced this week that as part of a publicity campaign, the company will start to fill potholes in select towns across the country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Domino's will be filling potholes, not to be confused with their normal business of filling potheads. <laughs> That's what they'll be doing. Um... <laughs> now, seeing as it's Domino's, the asphalt is it's gonna look like regular asphalt, but it's gonna taste a little bit worse. <laughs> uh, and finally... <laughs> finally, this was interesting. The crayon company, Crayola, has launched a new line of makeup based on its crayon colours. Yeah. <laughs> now, people who've tried the Crayola makeup say the colours are great, but they did have trouble staying inside the lines. <laughs> Crayola says their new line of makeup is completely vegan. <laughs> so, wait, are you, are you telling me the makeup I've been eating has meat in it? <laughs> that we've been eating? Now, I don't know. Here's the thing. I, I tried. <laughs> Does it have meat in it? <laughs> now, I don't know. I tried this Crayola makeup backstage. It was an odd look. Here I am before. And then here I am after. 